。好，第十五条咧就有关于红血球嘅描述，咁佢问我哋边一句咧系正确嘅。咁啊，当年咧得三成半嘅同学咧系答啱嘅。咁希望呢条片咧帮你清清啲 concept 佢啦。第一句咧佢就话啦，红血球咧系唔能够制造到酶同埋蛋白质去修复自己。咁啊，因為紅血球係冇細胞核嘅，呢句説話係正確嘅，頭尾嘅因果關係呢係相符合嘅。因為紅血球冇細胞核，所以佢就冇呢個基因遺傳物質，從而啦，亦都唔能夠指引到呢嗰個細胞做呢個 transcription 同埋 translation 去製造蛋白質。所以第一句説話呢係正確嘅。第二句啦，就話紅血球呢，總有一日係會停止工作，咁啊因為呢啲血紅蛋白就會用晒佢。呢句説話呢，前面呢係正確嘅，咁啊因為紅血球大約一百二十日命到啦，其實去到最後尾呢，佢就會俾我哋嘅肝臟呢去拆解咗佢，咁係個肝臟斬爛咗個紅血球，從而亦都將個血紅蛋白呢去斬爛咗佢，但係就並不是血紅蛋白會用晒，所以錯就錯在呢。第二部分啦，血红蛋白佢同个氧气黐埋，同埋放返低个氧气之后呢，其实佢系保持不变嘅。个比喻呢都系好似的士上落客咁样样嘅啫。所以第二句就错啦。第三句咯，就话红血球呢系唔能够制造到能量俾自己，咁啊因为佢系冇线粒体。呢句说话呢又系头尾唔相符啦。佢的确系冇线粒体嘅，呢一句系正確嘅，但系前面嗰句就错啦。咁你會覺得嚇咁奇怪？佢冇線粒體喎，兩 s 都會能夠提供到能量嘅咩？冇錯啊，雖然佢冇線粒體咋，但係佢頂多都係做唔到 Krebs cycle 同埋 oxidative phosphorylation 啫嘛。Glycolysis 仍然係做到㗎，所以呢一度係咪仍然有 ATP 嘅產生啊？所以第三句呢，又係頭尾不相符，又錯埋啦。所以答案呢，就係 A 啦。咁呢個題目仲有啲咩變奏呢？講起紅血球，梗係講佢哋嘅適應性特徵啦。點解佢哋會冇咗個細胞核嘅呢？有咩好處呢？點解佢哋會冇咗個線粒體嘅呢？又有咩好處呢？點解佢哋嘅形狀係雙粒盤呢？又或者啦，一個病人佢而家係患有呢個鏈刀狀紅血球貧血症嘅，咁佢個紅血球又咩形狀呢？又會點樣影響咗嗰個紅血球嘅攜養能力呢？嗱，呢啲題目一定要識㗎，記住温一温書啊。Question 15 is about the description of the human r e p e r cell. Which one is correct? So this question only 35% students got it correct. So let's take a look at the statement. First of all, r e p e r cell cannot synthesize enzyme or protein for repair because there is no nucleus in the r e p e r cell. This statement is correct. Based on the concept from the molecular genetics, we know that no genetic material, so there is no instruction for the transcription and translation for protein synthesis. So that's why statement number one is correct. And for statement number two, the r e p e r cell will stop functioning one day because hemoglobin will be used up. For this statement, for the first half, it is correct because the r e p e r cell around 120 days lifespan and the liver will break down the old r e p e r cell and break down the hemoglobin and release the iron again. But for the second half, the hemoglobin will be used up. This part is wrong because the hemoglobin It will remain unchanged after loading and unloading the oxygen. It's just like the metaphor of the taxi. So that's why statement number two is wrong. And for statement number three, the rubber cell they do not have energy supply because of the absence of mitochondria. This statement, the second half, it is correct, but the first half, it is wrong. They can still provide energy for themselves. So you may think that no, Mr. Leung, from the chapter of respiration, we know that aerobic respiration it takes place in the mitochondria. Yes, you are correct. Aerobic respiration takes place in the mitochondria, but even there is no mitochondria. It just means that the Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation they cannot take place. But don't forget glycolysis. Glycolysis is in the cytoplasm. And there is still ATP production, so that's why the r e p e r cell they can provide energy for themselves. So number three is also wrong. So that's why the answer is A. So any possible question variation when we talk about the r e p e r cell, we need to recall the adaptive features. Why they do not have the nucleus? Any benefit? Why do they not have the mitochondria? Any benefit? And why do they have the biconcave this shape? Or what happens if the patient are suffering from the sickle cell anemia? Any change of the shape of the r e p e r cells? 
So those concepts are very important. So do some revision.